When we released Until Dawn, one of the things that happened was that people streamed the game. And one of the things that they did when they streamed the game was they invited a bunch of people around. They all sat on a sofa and they chose a character and they controlled the character when that character was controllable. And they kind of did a very loose competition around it. So movie night mode is our way of reflecting that back to the player. It's our way of enabling that behavior and refining it a little bit. So when you load up movie night mode, you'll input the number of players you want to be in the game and you'll be able to put your names into the game and then you all choose a character and the game helps you through that process. So at key points, when a player character changes, the game will tell you whose turn it is and prompt you to pass the controller to them and that player will then take over and control their character God damn it. This is all my fault. We also have these awards at the end of key sections of the game where we say how people did, who had the quickest reactions, did anyone lose a character, and it's just to reflect that all back to you. It's a very cool mode. We think people will really enjoy playing it. We designed Man of Medan to be playable in various different ways, shared story, movie night, and single player, none of which compromise the cinematic story that we're trying to tell. Horror is a social experience. You go to the movies or the cinema with your friends, you watch a TV series at home with your loved one, your partners. A haunted house experience, we're going to get the crap scared out of you. And even Halloween, it's all social, it's fun, it's together. Horror together feels right. And that's why it works so well in the Dark Pictures anthology and in Man and Madan, because you know it's that shared experience and that's what we want to riff on and get people scared together and get people socialising together. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And as with any good horror game or film or movie TV experience, some of the characters are going to die. If your character dies, we're going to have to sit and watch. Can the choices one player make cause the death of an, another player's character? I don't want to give away any spoilers, but certainly the other player's choices have a massive impact on the flow of that story. Get off our boat. It wouldn't be a supermassive game if that didn't happen. Remember I'm there. Take this. Use it if you have to. PlayStation.